Alright, hey guys, this is Chad from Six Blog. I'm Stick, and today I want to do another video. I got another unboxing here, um, but just to let you know right off the bat, this is not uh, backpacking related. Um, this is actually knife related. Um, and I want to say that uh, this was actually, I should have gotten this last week, last Wednesday. Today is Monday. Um, for some reason, I don't know what's going on. I guess the uh, Postal Service is still a little behind on their uh, mail because it arrived near me um, and then it ended up turning around and going 1500 miles in the wrong direction. So uh, this package has actually traveled just over 3,000 miles um, <laughs> for no real reason. However, it finally made it here to me and I'm excited for it to be here. Um, what I want to say is, uh, or well I'll just go ahead and tell you, um, what it is is it's a new uh, accessory um, for my knife. Uh, this is the Zero Tolerance 0350, not 0350, I want to get the 0350. This is a Zero Tolerance 0550. Uh, this was a, a gift, a Christmas gift from uh, my wife and my kids for Christmas. And I've been carrying it with me uh, just about every day since I got it for Christmas. Uh, there's been a couple of days that I broke out my paramilitary too and I've carried it because that's an awesome knife too. Um, but I've been really excited, really happy with this knife. Um, I have taken it apart just to play with it and clean it, clean it up, just put a little oil on it and stuff like that. Um, I will say that up until just a couple of days ago, I've been using just some gun oil. This is Hops 9 that I use for some of my guns. Um, and actually this is another order that got lost in the mail. I ordered some Tough Glide, uh, just some of the oil, the lubricant, and I also got a cloth to clean my blades with. And it's funny because I ordered this and it got lost in the mail for about a month. Uh, it finally made it to me though. Um, but anyway, uh, so it's an accessory from a Zero Tolerance 0550. Um, I've been super excited about this knife. Um, like I said, it's my first titanium frame lock. And I've really been excited about it. When I got it at first, the detent on it was kind of heavy. Uh, it made opening it up super hard. Um, what I found is that if you just push sideways on these little thumb studs, it makes it almost impossible to open. You actually have to kind of get under it just a little bit, and then it opens up pretty easily. Still a little tough compared to some of my other knives, um, but it's, uh, I don't know, uh, I don't know if I've just gotten used to it. There has been one thing that I've been doing to it to try and get the detent to loosen up, or just the frame lock to loosen up a little bit. Um, first off, if you don't know, uh, the detent basically is what keeps the knife from letting the blade fall open. Um, and basically all it is is there's a, on the inside of this little frame lock, there's a little bitty ball. And then on the blade, uh, I don't know if you can actually see that right there between the lock. Um, there's a little indention in the blade. And what happens is whenever you close it, that little ball on the inside of the frame lock falls into that little indention on the blade and that's what keeps it from just flopping open um, and that's the uh, the detent ball uh, now whenever you open up the knife and it's completely open uh, and I don't know if, if you can see in there uh, but it's on the underside of the little frame there you may not be able to see any of that but anyway of course whenever it's opened up the frame falls behind the back of the blade so of course it's not hitting anything um, so I've read in a couple of places that if you kind of open it up um, and don't let it, don't keep it closed or don't let it open up all the way. If you kind of open it up so that that detent ball is actually pushing against the blade uh, and what that's doing is it's pushing the frame lock um, out as far as it's going to go. Uh, of course this overstop I believe is what that's called is what keeps the, the frame lock from um, exaggerating and, and going out too much. Um, however, I've, it seems like I've come across people saying that if they'll leave it in this position overnight for a while it'll help with uh, some of the detent issues and I don't know like I said if I've just gotten used to, uh, to to opening and closing it more or what but it does seem like it's a little bit easier I will say the other day I was showing somebody and they were trying to push it like so and I just couldn't get it but if you get up underneath it it works pretty good also the uh, the frame lock it seems like when I first got it, it was sticking just a little bit um, but I don't believe, I would say that it's, it's doing really well now. It doesn't really stick. Um, the inside of the frame lock is carbonized, so that's supposed to help with the, uh, the sticking also. 
Um, centering on it is pretty good. It's off just a little bit, not too much. It's kind of pulling over to this side. Uh, but anyway, I've really come to like this, uh, this knife. Uh, I really love the weight of it. Some people complain about the almost six ounces of weight. Uh, however, I've been really happy with the weight on it. Um, I've really, uh, I was a little concerned about the pocket clip. Uh, my Spydercos, of course, they have a little bit longer pocket, pocket clip. Uh, and I wasn't sure if I was going to like this one that was shorter. Uh, but um, as I've carried it, I've had no problems with it and I've actually come to like it. So anyway, enough talking about the knife. I'm going to go ahead and open the box here. And uh, take a look at what's inside it. Just kind of. I guess I could have cut it a little more, huh? It's like a Christmas present all over again. I'm hoping it's more than just that. I'm thinking that's all there is in there. All right, there we go. Uh, this actually came from Monkey Edge, and some of you may already know what it is. Um, for those that don't, it's a new scale. Uh, the one thing that I haven't really been fond of on this knife is the scale. Um, it's just fine. I like the G10, but I don't really like the pattern that's on it. So I've been wanting to get a new scale. Um, this is actually a Rick Hinder design scale. Like I said, I got it from Monkey Edge. It was $65. It's the ACU camo pattern. Um, and it's a frag pattern designed by Rick Hinderer. So... That's what it's going to look like when it gets done. It's a pretty cool looking scale. Um, I wish it was a little more... I don't know. It looks kind of dirty almost. I wish it was a little more clean looking. Um, but that's it. So what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to go ahead and uh, take these four little screws out right here. After I take those screws out, this scale will just lift right off. And also while I've got it out, uh, I'm going to go ahead and put some more tough glide on it uh, instead of this gun oil. And uh, we'll take it from there. So let me get my stuff out. I don't know if you can hear that, but that's my little bit running back and forth in the hallway. My wife's chasing her. I think she's doing it on purpose. <laughs> okay. And then there you go. The uh, scale comes right off. And then this will go right back on. And that's what the inside looks like. You see the inside liner is heavily skeletonized. I'm going to go ahead and pull that off. There you go. And then pull the blade off. And then there it is. Here's the bronze phosphor washers. And uh, I want to say that those are some thick bronze phosphor washers. Got those off. While I've got them off, I'm going to go ahead and clean them up. And like I said, put some of the tough glide on them. Um, also, if you look there, you can see the, uh, the detent ball that I was talking about. And then you can see how the end of that there, I don't know if you can see that, but that's carbonized there. So, real quick, just going to wash these off, wipe them off. Also, right there you can see if it's focusing, you can see the actual indention inside the... Uh, the blade and then you can also see that spot right there where the uh, detent ball actually uh, rides whenever you open and close the knife. 
So, go ahead and take some of the tough glide here. And I know that they make a number of different um, different lubricants. This is uh, the first one that I've used other than the gun oil. So I'm hoping that it works pretty well. I've already put it on the rest of my knives. Um, and it seems to do okay. I may be putting too much here. I don't know, I'm pretty new at this. screws back in. I want to say that uh, I wish that um, I forgot what I said. I hear my phone ringing now. I lost my train of thought. Oh, uh, Loctite. I need to get some blue Loctite to put in, uh, on these screws when I'm putting them back. That way it kind of holds them in place. A little better. I haven't had any issues so far with them loosening up, um, but um, it would just kind of ease my mind just a little bit. Also, as far as these uh, scales are concerned, um, there's a few different colors that you can get. You can get a gray, which is what I was considering if I didn't get this. Um, you can get, uh, of course, there's black, there's blue, there's yellow. Uh, there's a number of different colors. Uh, one that I really wanted to get was more of a translucent color, and uh, unfortunately they were sold out of those. So I went with my next best option, which was this uh, ACU camo. Now then, put that back together. Let's see. Oh, that's way too tight. Loosen it up just a little bit. It's way too tight still. Yeah, because, um, there we go. That's about right. All right, and there we go. ZTL 550 with the ACU camo Rick Hinderer uh, frag pattern design. I got it from Monkey Edge, $65. Um, I will say that they shipped it off really quick. I got the priority mail. Uh, they did seem to ship it off really quick. It's just that the actual postal service had an issue with getting it to me. Um, you can see the lock up there. I'm not real sure. Uh, I think it's about 50% lock up. Maybe about 40%. I don't know. Maybe you can tell me a little better. Um, anyway, that's it. I need to uh, just work that tough glide in. And there it is. So, this was the before. That's the now. Anyway, guys, appreciate you watching. If you have any comments, questions, feel free to post them below, and I'll do my best to get back to you answering any questions you may have. Uh, but more so, probably at this moment, uh, I welcome any kind of comments. People can, can suggest things to me, things that I don't know because I'm still learning about all this stuff. Uh, but anyway, guys, I appreciate you watching. I'll see you next time.